So I'm uh, Matt Davis. I've been here eight years and I'm currently the STEAM faculty leader and design technology teacher. This is the design technology room. Um, we've got uh, CAD, which is community design, which we teach the students from grade six and up, which is our year seven. Uh, we teach them about rapid prototyping and we teach them the whole design process. They learn to draw to start with, they transfer that onto the computer and then they learn to realise that in models and so on that they can make for projects which are based on real life applications. So we got um, a full workshop of tools and equipment so the students not only learn to uh, play about with the computer design and the 3D printing but we also teach them uh, the skills of woodworking and metalworking and working with plastics. They, they learn a form what we call resistant materials uh, and they learn the environmental aspects related to those materials as well. We look at a focus on a range of careers if you will. Um, so as our students get older they, they, they don't just focus on one particular area of design. We, we talk about how the skills they learn here can be applied to architecture or engineering, to fashion or food or to automotive or product design. So the idea being that the math and the science skills and the drawing and artistic skills they learn here can be applied in a much wider range of career paths as they go old through the school. Design technology as a rule is not a subject these students will get the opportunity to do in most of the schools at the age they start. So it gives them a very early start in school to understand how uh, the skills of um, science and math, engineering and art, and art all tie together to create this whole um, creative curriculum for them which otherwise they wouldn't have access to. I think one of the, the strong points of our school is that all the staff work closely together to ensure that all our students uh, really do understand the links between the subjects. Although we name them as separate subjects, I don't think it's fair to say that any one subject is taught without linking it in some way to at least two or three others throughout the day. I think the students really understand as they get older that those links are very important. How you can't just be good at languages without realising the implications in business studies, for example. You can't be good at art without understanding how you can apply those skills in DT or math and science. So I think we do a very good job of showing the students that it's a combined curriculum.